hello guys welcome back so now let's implement the MVVM design architecture in our this flutter project so how we can apply first of all we will separate out our views so for that purpose right click on lib new let's create a new folder we will give it name as view and our views for example auth screens are our views so we will move it to the view okay so drag and drop it on the top of view so it will move inside the view click on refactor as now you can see inside the view we have our auth screens similarly move the splash screen inside the view like this drag and drop splash screen on top of view that is on the view folder it will show you this pop up click on refactor so inside the view we have now also splash screen similarly main screens we will move it inside the view like that and the widgets are also part of the UI so it will be inside the view folder so make sure to drop it inside the view folder as you can see all of them are now inside the view now let's remove this error from it for example it shows these red lines on these packages just remove this and import it with the new one which is now inside the view okay for the sign up as well similarly for the sign in remove this and let's import custom text field dot dot and then after it we have splash screen so remove these error messages and then import the auth screen so go to the man dot dot remove this splash screen dot dot and import my splash screen so currently we have only implemented the user interface till now we have not yet implemented any business logic which simply means the functionalities now according to the auth screen as we will start from it that is sign up and sign in the seller so for that we will create the first view which will handle the business logic or you can say the functionalities of our sign in and sign up so for that purpose right click on lib new let's create new folder we will give it name as view model now right click on view model new let's create a dot file and as it will handle the auth screen operations so we can give it name as auth underscore view underscore model so this will be our auth view model now this auth view model will be responsible for handling the operations of the sign in and sign up that is the business logic we will implement here now one more thing is we need another class you can say that it will be a common method class where we can implement methods like get user current location which we can use uh, which we implement only one time and we can use it anywhere we want because we will need the user location or you can say the seller location or the rider location at many places so inside the view model I will create a new dot file and I will give it name as common underscore view underscore model so inside this common view model we will implement those methods which are common between uh, different screens for example we will implement here a snack bar code which we can call anywhere whenever we want to display a toast message to the user on the user interface similarly the code which we write for getting the location of the user from the sign up screen this is the logic okay we cannot add it here here only we have to add the user interface code not the business logic so we will move this from here control X go to the common view model let's create class common view model here we will implement all those methods which are common between different screens for example this get current location we will need this at many places so whenever we need it we will just call it by its name get current location and it will get the updated location of the user let's import location accuracy which is geolocator.dot package similarly uh, for the place mark 
we have the package just click here import geocoding dot dot and one more thing that we need is right click on lib new let's create a directory by the name global and right click on global folder new dot file we will create our global underscore var which means global variables and from the sign up screen we need to move these which is position list pass mark and full address control x and pass that here make sure to import position also the plus mark and now if we go back to our common view model then import this plus mark which is from the global variable start dot now instead of doing this what we will do here this method will return the full address so we can say a return full address so for example now on any screen when we want to get the updated location of the user we will simply call this method and this will return us the full address of the user similarly here uh, after getting the current position that is latitude and longitude which are geographic coordinates that we will assign to our position global variable so now for example we need to call this on our sign up screen that is we need the updated new location of the user when the user when the seller want to sign up so how we can access methods from our common view model on the ui as you know this is our view sign up view so for that purpose we will first create an instance of our common view model common view model and then with the help of this instance name we can call it so once the user click on the location button we will simply say that common view model dot get current location now as you know that this method will return the full address okay and also we assign the pos C position to the global variable position so what we need to do is once this method is executed you can also make it asynchronous that is to wait for it to execute successfully once we get the full address we will assign it to a variable that is address you know that this method return this full address so once it is executed full address will be returned and it will be assigned to the string type address variable then we will assign that address to our location controller that is to show it on the user interface at real time without refreshing the page so that address we assign to our location controller which means that it will be updated on the user interface so now let's test our application to see so the app is running now let's go to the sign up click on get my current location and it is getting the user current location and it works successfully so of course later in the upcoming videos you will also see the advantages of using MVVM architecture currently if you see here for example now let's say after one year you want to change the user interface of the sign up screen so you will not go to the business logic you will simply go to the view and inside it you will go to the sign up screen where we have only the UI code okay the UI code is written here and let's say if you want to do changes in the business logic that is in the functional requirements that is functionalities or you can say in the methods in simple words in the MVVM architecture it is known as business logic so for that we have to go to the view model view model contains the business logic so for that we will go to the view model and in the view model auth view model where we will implement our sign up sign in business logic